Native Bee Society of BC is a collective of artists, researchers, land managers, and bee enthusiasts who are working together uh, to support our 500 plus species of native bees in BC. The Native Bee Society of BC wanted to participate in the BBC program uh, because we support all of the 500 plus different native bees that occur here in the province. And we see that a lot of times uh, when people are talking about supporting pollinators and pollinator health, there tends to be a focus on honeybees. And honeybees are very important, but we also wanted to raise the profile of some of these other native bees because they also contribute in very important ways to pollination. But we worked on a BBC project uh, that was supporting our master melatologist students and being trained uh, in how to go out and, and do this outreach um, and the surveys of bees. And then we took the information that they learning uh, about bees and their floral relationships, and we used that to create some forage resources. The main bee health issue that our project addressed was a lack of knowledge, a lack of knowledge around the diversity of different bee species present in different parts of the province, uh, a lack of knowledge about the flowers that those bees use. And so if we don't know what species are present where, if we don't know what plants those bee species require, it's very hard to know if those populations are healthy or not. And it's very hard to increase their health. When our volunteers are out collecting information, we had some participants who were catching specimens with nets to create museum quality references. And they're also collecting the plant data, the plants that those bees are foraging off of. And they're doing that using the iNaturalist app, uh, which is a publicly available free app that anyone can use. Part of our project was that we brought those collections in, uh, we've identified them, and now we're sending them back to our members. And so they're going to have these beautiful outreach collections with labeled bees in them, and they're going to have copies of the forage resource. Uh, and so the plan is that over the next summer and hopefully starting soon at some of our city Saturdays, uh, those volunteers will be creating a network across the province of people that can go out and train the general public uh, and also interact with people that are doing conservation and putting in plants for bees to ensure that they're using the species that are going to support the most diversity of bees. The biggest impact we've seen so far from the project has been in the increase in capacity and knowledge of these volunteers that are working with us. The bees that these volunteers looked at over the summer of 2022, we have been looking through them to see what they've all found. Uh, and they found over 90 different species of bees. Uh, they documented the plants that those bees were using. And we saw some really interesting things, even just in this, this first year of doing it. Uh, so we had some bee species that in the scientific literature were not recorded in coastal BC, but our master melatologist did document those. And so that's improving our baseline knowledge about what bees occur where, which is gonna let us notice if they disappear.